Hey everyone, it's Melody with Design by Melody, and I'm here with the very first layout using my Simon Says Stamp card kit. And the very, very, very first thing that I'm actually doing with this kit, other than laying out my photos, is actually pulling out this die that came with it. So this die is for a flamingo, and I wasn't sure what I was going to use, how I was going to use it, or whatnot, but I wanted to go ahead and have a couple of these flamingos actually cut out. So I took the four different colors of cardstock, and they're really bright, beautiful colors, and I just die cut a flamingo from each of the colors um, and then there's also a stamp from this stamp set that lines up perfectly on this flamingo now I should have stamped it beforehand um, but I didn't <laughs> and so what I actually did is went back and stamped it and then die cut it so I actually have two yellow flamingos now but that's perfect because now I have some to work with but I did want to say that as I was die cutting it with the original um, die cuts you can actually see the impression of the feathers on the flamingo which is really really a nice nice detail so you don't have to do your stamping if you don't want but you can because it lines up perfectly. The next thing that I'm doing is actually using a couple different inks here. I'm using a Memento Tuxedo Black ink as well as the uh, Paper Tray uh, smoky Shadow ink to stamp out this You Are One Cool Pineapple um, stamp that's in that um, stamp set as well. Now I wanted a darker impression so I went with the paper tray ink one but I did keep my Memento Tuxedo Black one that I had stamped out to keep with this kit for a future layout. So I've got two different pops of yellow and the reason I had picked the yellow is because I used the yellow flamingo on the top left so I wanted to kind of balance that out with the yellow on the bottom right as well. Now I usually actually pick out my papers and my cards first, but I was so excited to use that die in the stamp set that I didn't even get around to picking out the papers. So I'm kind of going a little bit backwards. And I'm going to use this one pink flamingo print twice. I'm going to use the back side, which is a real pretty blue. I'm going to cut out the part where I trim down these papers because you guys have seen it a million times and there's no point in showing you it again. But by the magic of video, ta -da, it's done. I've got my cards trimmed out. <clears throat> now I also have four four by six photos so there's not a whole lot of paper that I'm actually using but there was one paper that had these little squares like they were supposed to be I guess little scenes but I'm actually cutting one out and using it as a filler or using it on this blue card as like a filler card and I went ahead and backed it on a little bit of that pink glitter paper as well and what that actually says is you can never have too much beach time and that's going to go right there on that filler card. Now I'm actually working on embellishing this bottom right card. And what I did, there was not any washi tape that actually came in this kit. I think a good addition to this kit would be washi. However, we all have a million spools or yards of washi in our stash. So I just went through and pulled out a couple different ones. Pulled out like a, a red, pink, and white polka dot. I pulled out a blue scallop. I pulled out kind of a teal geometric shape. And then I also pulled out one that had some sayings on it. It was like favorite, sweet, memories, and happy, I believe. So I'm going to use all four of those washi tapes on this layout. So you're gonna see them kind of here periodically. One thing I did want to mention to you guys, if you're interested in my classes, I really like to focus on using your scraps, and I do end up with a lot of scraps from these kits that I use, the, use during my kit review series. So if you're interested in watching any of my class classes, I am over on Patreon, and I will leave the link in the description box below. I was having issues with some uh, videos, but it's been fixed. I'm still fairly new to Patreon, and this is the first month I'm actually on Patreon. So I just wanted to put it out there that I fixed it, so if anybody's interested, please go over and check that out. I really appreciate all the support and love that you guys give. Now I'm actually working with this Amy Tangerine sticker book that came with this kit and I think this might be one of my favorite things in this kit. So this kit is really geared for card making but I'm taking the challenge of using the same kit for layouts. Now I've done a couple already and I had some problems with the editing because I was having other problems with Patreon, but my problems have all been solved. So I'm back up with the videos here. But um, the very first one I'm doing here is a pocket page layout. And these are some pictures and layouts from our beach trip where we went camping at the beach. But I really thought this particular card kit would work really, really well with these photos because we were at the beach and we were camping. And a lot of these um, papers and layouts are all beach themed. And so I thought it would really work well. And it was actually also Easter time. So 
there's a lot of like bright colorful clothes that we're wearing and and things like that so I thought it would just work really really well with the um the colors in this particular kit I love the flamingo it probably really has nothing to do with that photo of Caitlin up there dying easter eggs but it's just bright and colorful and he has a super cute smile on his face in that photo there were also, so I noticed in the Amy Tangerine sticker book, and you've kind of seen me do it a couple times here, those stickers are actually clear. So when you're layering them on top of photos, it can be difficult to actually see the sticker itself. So I am backing a few of them just on some white cardstock, and I'm actually using the white card bases that came in the kit. Since I'm not really intending on making cards with this kit, I may at the end, I haven't really decided, but at this point, I'm not intending to make cards with this particular kit so I'm using that white paper that was um, scored to be folded into a card just to back a couple of the um, little embellishments from the that sticker sheet that I'm actually pulling off because they are clear stickers <clears throat> also did the same with that um, washi tape that had the words on it on the top right photo I just backed it on a little bit of white cardstock just so you can actually see what it says instead of it blending so much in with the background Another thing that came in this kit were these puffy stickers. And I always kind of struggle with these puffy stickers because, I mean, you get them in different collections and different, um, you know, times of the year. And I think they're super cute, but I always feel like it's it's hard for me sometimes to incorporate it. So I just embraced those puffy stickers in this kit and have really, really loved how they have come together and worked really well on the layouts. I've actually probably used half of them already at this point in my um, process of making layouts with this kit. So make sure you stay tuned to see how I use those, especially if you struggle with those. Like I think they're super adorable, but I just don't always feel like they, they fit well with the um, layouts that I'm making however I really thought that this one did I haven't used any of the like drinks or anything and I don't even think I've used any of the lemons but I've used a lot of the birds and the flowers and the cacti and um, it is cacti right plural of cactus it's cacti we're gonna say it's cacti um, but anyways I really have liked that puffy sticker sheet. Now this You Are Beautiful sticker was from that clear sticker book went from Amy Tangerine and it's just a picture of the sky and the tree and so I thought that was fitting to say You Are Beautiful and I'm going to layer a little bit of that washi tape underneath. Now that washi tape is on a white background so it really kind of stands out against some of the darker background so I did not back it with white paper. And then I used a few of the little birds from the puffy sticker sheet that are going to go down there beside that You Are Beautiful here in just a moment. There's also a couple of word stickers in that sticker book that are gold. And so there's one that says, you've got style. And I put that on the picture, the family picture of us. And then I also put, I'm um, currently obsessed on the picture of my mom looking into the lake. So where we were in Florida was at a state park and there was like a lake on one side of the campground and then the beach was on the other side of the campground. So you can kind of get a little bit of both, whatever you wanted. You can get the uh, the lake water or you can get the beach water. And so it's really kind of, we really just enjoyed that campground. Um, now we stay in an RV, so it's not truly like tent camping and roughing it. I mean, we have the luxury of um, indoor showers, though we did build an outdoor shower, which I actually preferred because it was bigger. Uh, but we also had like air conditioner and things like that. But we did all our cooking outside. So that finishes this layout. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Please let me know if you have any questions whatsoever. And I hope you are liking this kit so far. Thank you so much. Bye.